what's up candy keepers little candy gamer here today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step galaxy tutorial for you guys I'm going to show you three different types of galaxies that I've learned in the time that I've learned how to draw galaxies and don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it just really helps boost my ratings with YouTube this isn't a voiceover this is actually me talking which is weird for me <laughs> Um, but I'd like to thank everyone who has supported me so far. I really, really appreciate the support. And yeah, so I'm going to show you three styles of how to do galaxies. Don't forget to ring the notification bell as well. And I bring a new video out every Wednesday if you're in Australia or every Tuesday if you're in the US. Alright, so I don't know how I'm going to go like <laughs> talking and drawing at the same time. I may speed parts of this video up. I'll probably write in the description below which colors I use. These are just, I've got some colors here, so I've pre-sharpened them all. Ignore my white splotch on my glove. That's, <laughs> oh, I better get some pink pens too. Yeah. All right, so those are for stars at the end. And I'm gonna show you, this one is what I started using uh, when I first started doing Galaxy. Oh, right, so that's what I'm starting with, and then I'll show you what I'm using now, and then I'm just going to show you a special fun galaxy technique. <laughs> so the first way that I used to do it was go dark to light, and saying that I don't go black straight away on the paper because it's really hard to get into the paper, and it's pencil sharpener. The darker colours are a lot harder to lay down, so I used to just put the dark in the corners, and you want to do very light little circles to get around the galaxy shape. You can like line heavier closer to the line, so you don't have to worry about going over the line. And you kind of just make these wispy little cloud like shapes. So, this is dark purple or PC 931. My camera does a lot of issues with focusing, so I am just going to leave all the pencil names in the description afterwards. I kind of like to make these little shapes where I would like go up into a really small like cloud. If you can hear any weird noises, it's just because they're building some things, they're making development for us. So, yeah. I don't worry too much about layering when I'm doing my galaxies, like I, I use more layers for an actual drawing, whereas I will still burnish a little bit these kind of galaxies, especially with the darker colours. So yeah, I might do like one there, I'm gonna sharpen my pencil, use some different dark to light colours. Sharp tip on there, when the tip's sharp, don't press too hard on it or you will get a break. Just gonna get right in the corner there. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing too often back there, it might just um... Zoom in on there a So just little circles, use the clouds. And they take quite a while to do. It makes it something that's not for the video. I'm not very good at like, sort of making very random <laughs> galaxy shapes. And I don't really use references either, so <laughs> that's bad. You should probably use a galaxy reference. To do these, I could probably use an extender here because my pencil's a bit small. <clears throat> Sorry about that, I just stopped my video to refocus the camera. It's hard for me to move my hands so you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> so I normally draw like this. <laughs> Holding the pencil back further will press lighter on the paper so you don't destroy the tooth right away as well. Just want to fill up all those little holes in there. And it's a pretty simple process. But it just does take a while to do. The three color the three color galaxies that I'm doing today are my signature galaxies. So that I didn't have to make up any colors in them, but you can use any colors that you like. You kind of want to like build up the layers more towards the center of it, and then fill them out towards the edges to make like the 3D sort of pattern shape, I guess. Okay, and then we use the next uh, color. So that was dark purple, this is dahlia purple, which is slightly lighter than this one, but not that much. So just layering that up there. 
My webcam doesn't exactly show like how vibrant these pencils are either. <laughs> if, you, if you'd like to donate towards the Little Candy Gamer to buy a new camera fund, you're welcome to do so. Because <laughs> I'm very, very poor. And just the same thing though, keep your pencil sharp. I like to keep my pencil very sharp. And like, this is a step-by-step step step tutorial, so I'm going to show you off until I put the stars on and everything. Like I get completely little sample galaxies. You don't have to put them in squares, you can put them on characters. You can put them in any shape that you would like, as you've seen with my other drawings, if you've seen my other drawings. You'll know that I don't just stay limited to square shape galaxies. These are very waxy pencils as well, so you may need to, I like to get a little brush and wipe away the little bits. And I have a little paper towel here, and I like to just come in and wipe off a layer of wax. The reason I'm wearing this little glove is for, so that I don't smudge the colours. It doesn't completely protect you against smudging colours, but it can help. With these colours, like, um, the purples and the reds, they can smudge a lot more, because red pigment gets everywhere, which I know from hairdressing, uh, look, just broke my pencil. But it's so sharp, so, um, yeah, I'm a hairdresser by trade, and I had to learn colours and hair science and things like that. And also a lot of it applies to colours when I'm colouring drawings as well. Um, so red is the highest density pigment that you can get because purple's got so much red in it. Um, it will smudge everywhere if you put your hands on it, which is good to not put your hands on it. Or you can have a little, some people get like, to say this is a bit of scrap paper, and they want, they might rest it on their drawing like this, so that they're not smudging it. I personally am too lazy for that. <laughs> I don't like moving a little bit of paper around my drawing. I like to feel free, <laughs> so I don't do that. Which is why this gloves I'm using they're about $4 on eBay. Or you can probably buy them on Amazon if you're in the US for about the same. And they just love me if I'm putting my hand over my work. <laughs> Not to smudge it everywhere. With these purple colours, I've got to be careful anyway, because they're not going to completely stop it. Um, don't forget to wash your gloves as well, because if you don't wash them, they get like a lot of of pencil flow in there as well. Let's sharpen my pencil again. Constantly sharpen my pencil, because I really like that really sharp tip to fill in all the holes when it doesn't break off. If it breaks off, it's probably because I'm pressing too hard for that. Um, I'm putting too much pressure on for that um, tip on the pencil, if that makes sense. <clears throat> so just feathering it out. I'm going a lot quicker now than what I would if I was doing a drawing as well, I'd probably take my time a little bit more. But this is just meant to be like a very quick tutorial, not like to take five years <laughs> and bore you guys. Sometimes with these purples I've even made like Red Galaxy, like on my Ariel drawing. But like today we're just going to go in the standard Pinky Silver Galaxy. And I'll show you a few tricks that a lot of us probably don't use or know about. I like to give you guys as much value as I can when I'm teaching you. I don't hide anything from you guys, I want to give you some value for watching my videos. <laughs> You can even do some like lighter valley or colored pads as well. But these galaxies aren't all the same, they're meant to be very random. It's always something that I struggle with. A little bit when I do them, it's not being very random. <laughs> if you need to turn your paper, then do it because as artists we have like a dominant hand and we have like a preferred, preferred um, way that we can push the pencil where we can make the best line or drawing if you know. <laughs> follow what I'm saying. Um, so don't be afraid to turn your paper around if you need to do it to get your hand into a better position as well. So I'm just lining around the edge there, so I don't go over the line. So these are the style of galaxies that I did for a very long time, but I recently switched after learning a new technique from another artist. Oh, I'd like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to my artist friends at SteadyPaw on Instagram and at Rick's Terminator. They're some awesome artists, you should check out their work. They've been so supportive of me since I started on Instagram. And yeah, they're just really, really genuine, nice guys. Okay, so now we're on to the next color, which I'm going to use. Process red here, which is actually process red is like a pink. <laughs> it's not red. And I like using this paper because it's a little bit short for me. And you're probably not gonna see these colours as vibrantly as I am in real life. Even looking on my webcam now, like um that purple looks a lot darker. Oh. I'm gonna go and garnish this a little bit. For the purpose of this tutorial. <laughs> And you should go back with the other colour as well to just redefine those whiskey clouds. Is that something I mentioned? Just making little circles, you sharpen this pencil, you get blunt really quickly. If you're vanishing, vanishing them, don't try to draw along with me if you have Prismacolor pencils. You need Prismacolor pencils, you need Strathmore, Tone Pan paper. You can also use grey, whatever paper you would like. This is the paper that most Prismacolor artists will use. Hopefully I'm going to be doing another live stream soon, so that people can come and ask me questions while I'm drawing. So you 
see that starting to take shape there. And we'll go back over with this dahlia purple here. Which is a very, not blended very well galaxy. <laughs> but with this other technique that I'm going to show you, it's a lot easier. But this is just the one I started out using. Well, one thing I found with this technique was it was a bit hard to control the shapes of the galaxy. And I was a bit unsure about what I was doing. But it's still a valid technique, and it still works very well, and it does what it does, and it's good to learn if you're learning. Because it's probably easier to do than the other ones. So this one you shouldn't end up with too many gaps, and then the gaps are going to put white. You can get some nice galaxy effects by burnishing. Okay. Just going to wipe away the excess there, because you've got little bits of pencil off. And fine, I like to use my spray to layer it up as well, so it's like a seal spray. Spray across the paper there, let it dry. Well, not a bit to dry. But that is a where to where fill that fix to do. Just tying the paper there. <laughs> I thought we layer up the layers before because it kind of fills up some of the holes in the paper. I think, I think that's fine. Sorry that I stopped talking, I just can't really talk and show at the same time, I think a lot of artists struggle with this as far as I know, <laughs> you've got to concentrate on what you're doing, to some extent, even with something as simple as this. Sorry, this isn't really important. Or I think it's just, I don't know, I just get so distracted by growing up. I can't talk anymore! <laughs> okay, so I know I can show the pink. You know how much bigger that was once I sprayed my spray down, I forgot to do that. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so now we'll go white, and these whites I ordered from a company that I don't normally order from, and I found they weren't packaged very well, so when I've been sharpening them, the tips have been breaking off, so we'll see how it goes this. I'm just going to layer up in between the gaps there, and you're just going to smush around a bit of that pink colour as well to get the nice pinky sort of colour. You don't want it to be completely white. If you know what I mean. In this galaxy I haven't done any larger styles or anything like that. I'm simply just doing a basic galaxy. I'll do a larger style on the other one. Saving the best to last so you guys stay and watch me. Pushing that pink colour around. Just covering all of that surface there. Okay, so that's your first basic gal gal galaxy. I can talk. <laughs> that looks a lot whiter on the screen than it was in real life. Yeah, anyway. So, to do the big star, what I'm doing in a way, I'll have to. Ah, stop for a second. I actually use my business card because it's got a nice corner on it. And I want my stars to have a sharp pencil. I want my stars to have a right angle on them so that they're like a perfect cross. For the bigger stars, so I just want to move my back forever. <laughs> so I use the right angle of that in the dark area, and I just trace like a ruler and make a little right angle there. I might do that up here as well. Does it help with something? Do you want to line it up so it's straight? Put the other one, the line. And I make a little cross like that. Doesn't need to be perfect because you're going to go over it anyway. And there we go. Alright, so that's your little crossy thing. There, you wouldn't touch your drawing with your hands if it was a red drawing. <laughs> Um, and I like to draw. This doesn't work well if you sprayed it. I like to draw my basic outline with my style there. And then I get my paint pen. No, that doesn't work too well because I've already sprayed it, so. Then I get my paint pen and I go over this part in the middle, like that. And I will make a little star. Take your time with these stars. I can't stress that enough, they're not easy. The white pen will absorb some of this pigment because it's red. So then you can make a little star shape. However you want to do that. And then when you're doing stars, I like to use my big pen first. So I make some larger stars and some smaller stars. I like to do like little clusters of stars. If you make a mistake on one, just make that star bigger. Just go with it. Um, I think I've got some of the white down here as well. So it's just a very quick galaxy to show you guys how I do it. So yeah, you just take your time with your stars, make them look nice. Stars aren't going to look good if you just go in and do them all the same size. And I just put them mainly in the darker parts for the larger stars, like so. And I'll go in with my, this is a uni, so the first one I use was uni Posco paint pen, just like that. The second one I use is a smaller pen, it's called uni ball, by the same company, and it's just a light gel pen. Some people use jelly roll, but I don't personally like the way that it works on the wax. Sometimes they get clogged with wax, so you just need to like, do little circles on some paper until it gets unclogged. And I like to use this one to do smaller stars. This isn't the magical part yet of this galaxy. Um, and then I use a jelly roll clear gel pen, and this is like a clear gel pen. So 
to add some little glittery stars to give it some dimension for my customers when they receive their work. You probably won't see it like if I take a photo of it, unless I took a video and like tilted it and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, you just do that. And to get lighter clouds, some people ask me this, I actually just do little circles of paint and get my finger and just do that. Look at that, that looks like an actual cloud now, so there we go. Just little circles like this in the wider areas, as much as you want to do it, as much as you think it needs. And that just makes a very cloud-like pattern. There we go. So that's the first galaxy. Second galaxy, we're gonna use some different colours to keep it interesting. So let's use some of my favourite colours. This is like my second go-to galaxy colours. So I'm going to use Peacock Blue. I'm going to use Light Aquan, and I'm gonna use White. And I thought I might use Black in some. I actually like to use Indigo Blue. I don't know if I've got any. Let me just check in my pencils. Indigo Blue. Where are you? Indigo Blue. Right, so okay. Actually start with my peacock blue on this one. Actually no, because we're doing other styles, so we start with light. Actually, we go light to dark on this one. So the beautiful thing about light to dark galaxy is we can make it any shape. Oh that white is terrible. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's not doing too well. <laughs> anyway, so we can do any shape we want. I like personally to do some little swirly ones. Like this, a little swirl, a little swirl. Let's do a little random shapes like this. We can do a star shape. <laughs> we can really make these ones any shape we want. Let's do a star for fun. Star. You literally, this is the burnished galaxy technique, which I learnt for Jamaican Battle Artists, but I don't know any Titans in any way. A lot of people use this technique, and it's pretty good. I was very confused. These white temples, uh, pencils are terrible. <laughs> don't buy from Ripple with Arcs. <laughs> they sent them to me, they were rolling around. I spent $40 on these, these pencils. <laughs> Just white ones, don't mind irritating across my camera. I will show you how many pencils I have. I bought all these from Ripple with Arcs, and they came and they were like rolling around in the packaging, and I know the proceeds aren't careful with them. So that was a bit disappointing, I won't be buying from them again. Oh, look at that, it just broke again. I'm not even, I'm not pressing that hard. Okay. So you put the white down first, and then you outline it in your brighter colour. In this case, light aqua. Oh, you can use a few different colours. I like to use um, true blue sometimes, for this as well. Oh, I don't have a true blue here. Mm. I do, I have a little time. I'll use that. Alright, that's not true blue. Okay, this is true blue, but I need to sharpen it because they come very short like that. So. So like this. So we'll use this one. Make some. I still like going circles on it around like that. It is punishing. It looks more like a flower than a star, but that's okay. <laughs> for fun shapes for the tutorial. This one is like a blob. Blob, blob, blob. Round and round we go. <laughs> so clever. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you. I'll, I'll do a little star here too. Do a star. The aqua's not breaking. Aqua's from a different company. We go round and round and round. That's what my little two-year-old says. Round and round. <laughs> little cutie. Okay. And then, and then we do the white again, and we just want to smudge this colour. Smudge it as much as you can, pressing hard. So I use this technique for my Gyarados, I use it for the Raichus, and I will be using it in the future, because it was fun. <laughs> and a lot quicker as well, if you ask me. So yeah, it's more like a flower that we've made. <sighs> Don't do white, it keeps breaking. Wipe away those little pencil shaders. This is a weird style of video for me to make. <laughs> I'm not used to doing it this way. Hopefully you guys can learn something if you're interested in learning this type of thing. Please let me know in the comments if you did learn something. I'm sorry that it's a super long tutorial that I got asked to slow it down. So this is the slowed down non-time lapse version. So you can see it actually takes quite a while to do. Even when I'm doing it quickly for the camera. Okay, so that's that one. Wipe away the excess. Put the blue around the edges here. I feel a bit softer with this. So I'm gonna go through and re-blend it all. A bit of a process, a few steps. It's not too bad. I love galaxy art, so I'm forever trying to perfect my techniques. If I um, stop doing one thing and start doing another thing, it's because I have ADHD, so I get very distracted. Then I like start coloring that flower and then color this one. And maybe if you're a normal person, this makes no sense. <laughs> I think it makes no sense. It makes no sense to me either. 
these guys to each other. I really love blue and I really love light aqua. These are just my favorite colors. So you don't have to use these colors. That was me pressing too hard then. You don't have to use these colors. You can use whatever colors that your little hearts desire. Hopefully I'm as relaxing as Bobros. <laughs> we put a little bit of blue here and we make happy little accidents here. <laughs> uh, okay. Some sort of like shenanigans happening. I'm sorry if I talk very quietly. I don't talk very much in real life, so my voice is very quiet, like a mouse. Okay. This might not look good at the moment, <laughs> but it will. It will. Do some blue folks here, and some blue circles there, with the green and the clouds, and we shake it all around. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even need to be like circles really for this part. You can literally go around it like this if you want to. But I find that it looks more random and galaxy like if you do little circles. And there we go. Oh, nearly. <laughs> uh, we did some accents today. No, my accents are terrible. <laughs> I didn't think that one through. I could offend some people. <laughs> that is laughing a lot. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, French people. <laughs> right, so now we blend out the aqua again into the blue, because there'll be like a little edge on there. We blend it all out. Blend it out. Blend it out. <laughs> you really can't even see what I'm doing with my webcam because it's not a good webcam. Again, what can your webcams on? <laughs> Wanna buy me a better webcam, please? Okay. Oh, there's my wall. I'm sorry, it's gonna go off the next minute. I'm terribly sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> blending out green, blending out green. You can use some of this aqua that further into the ledge as well. I promise this will look like a galaxy when I'm finished. <laughs> it looks like some shapes at the moment. I always say feel free to watch my videos in 2 speed or 1.5 speed or 1.75 if it's quicker for you. Because I talk and do things very, very slowly. We're just having a relaxed old time here. <laughs> I feel so awkward with people watching my door. Okay, blend out the aqua in here. Blend out the white in here. Blend this a little bit more. Make a layer of white. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Now, I feel like I'm like, sitting in my house drawing and talking to you guys, but you can't talk back, so... <laughs> okay, now we're using a white... No, not white. Um, we got blue. <laughs> anyway, I went over that star a little bit, but that's okay. We just blend it out with that again. I went over the edge of the circle there, too. I'm not really focusing as well on what I'm doing as I normally do. And then we go around here with the peacock blue. I find anything blends into peacock blue, it's amazing. Probably not warm colours, but like any cool colour blends really well with peacock blue. I'm just burnishing a little bit. Uh, you can see it's starting to get shaped, you can put something in between these little clouds as well. Give them some definition. Yes. Sharpen the pencil. I mean, it probably would work better if I didn't make weird shapes. <laughs> you can still get the idea. Sometimes I make weird shapes. I make a heart on Gyarados' tail and a swirl on the other one. So you're still just going in circles with pencil. I don't know if it's necessary. <laughs> it's just something I do. You don't have to go in circles um, when you're drawing normally, as long as you layer correctly. Okay, something a little gap around the edge because I'm going to do darker colour there, indigo blue. So now you can see it's everything together. Have to leave the third one for another video. <laughs> it's 
pretty much the same as this one, except for some differences. Do they mean that true blue there with the light aqua? I don't call things by their pencil names. Like, you see, 192, I call them by their color names. So this is light aqua, kind of blending out that true blue. There. Just a little more. That's all fine and dandy. <laughs> you guys want me to slow down the tutorial? You get my quest to slow them down. So now you get a super slow tutorial and you have to put up with my weird shenanigans. Okay. Shapes. Shapes. Alright. Outline. 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 And outline. Do the little circles. Indigo blue we're using here, which is like so dark it's nearly black, but it's blue. I'm not going to show you the other one. It will take me way too long and I have so much to load here as well. Yeah, see, it's starting to look better now with the dark colour. We put in the dark colour. I went outside the line there too. I'm not really taking too much care. Because it's not a real picture. You might go in afterwards and you might go, hmm, there could be some more dark up here or something. And you could go over that if you wanted to. Like, how uh, these colours will go. Uh, I probably wouldn't actually recommend doing that. Like, that's not something I'd do, but I'm going to show you anyway. Sometimes you can dry things and wipe them anyway, so. You go in the dark. I didn't look too bad after all, so just experiment, guys. Put a little bit of dark around the edges, get some interest. Okay, and so these big stars, I like to make these stars. <laughs> so I got out my trusty business card. Shut my back pencil. Sorry, it shakes my camera because. Oh no, what is that? <laughs> Thanks, Ripple Arts. Spent $40 on pencils. Okay, guys, just buying white ones because you won't sell them for $4 each. For some reason, it's quite the artist that needs to use a white pencil. It's still broken, broken again. These are not the best white pencils in the world, no. They are just a tribute. <laughs> Gotta remember the greatest lights in the world. This is just a tribute. <laughs> oh, weird. That's so weird. Okay. Probably could have done that on more of an interesting angle, but yeah, there you go. There's just a nice star. You can just use white pencil. You can use pen. You can do whatever you like. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and we'll get to see white pencil. Uh, pen. Pen to pen. And we'll make, you can make a little dot in there if you want. It has a ah, work. <laughs> Alright, a little dot. I'm trying to like, I'll show you on the webcam. <laughs> and then up there. And like go across there. And there. And down. I'm trying to like, flick it a little bit so then it goes and tapers into the design. See, that style's a lot nicer. You could even do the same thing I did with the one and make a little star shape. Not for a bit. <laughs> 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 okay. Alright, so. White pencil marks. <laughs> blowing them away. And we make little stars like before. This is how I make my star suit up. I don't normally sing randomly then, it's just because I don't know this. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's coming together now. And big stars. Big stars? And little stars? Little stars? Little stars? Little stars? Little stars? Little stars? There we go. Little stars and, and little stars? Little stars. Oh. Some glitter there. And there we have it. No, no, I'm not finished. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. Then we get this one. Give it a little circle shapes, things. And do a little smudge around with your finger. Oh, look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Needs to be whiter. Whiter. Oh, that's going to be terrible. Work. <laughs> okay, so much. Come on. Come on, Ben. This one's on the way out. <laughs> there we go. Smudge, smudge, smudge. Yeah. That's how I make my galaxies. So thanks for watching. If this was your first time watching, thank you very much. If you have been here before, welcome back. <laughs> and I just want to say like, comment, and subscribe to boost my ratings on YouTube because you love me. And I love, love, love you guys. And I'll see you next time on Little Candy Gamer.